Washington County Sheriff's Office officials released the names of the deputy and citizen injured in an Ocala shooting Sunday morning. TV Train's Misty Webb tells us the pattern residents are noticing in that area. I'm in the parking lot where the shooting happened and as you can see behind me there are about four different bullet holes. Residents who live just a few blocks behind the shopping plaza say they were woken up by police sirens and lights. The shooting happened early Sunday morning. Marion County Sheriff's Office Deputy Kenneth Warner and civilian Richard Brown were shot. You know, around 2 o'clock time, uh, my deputies were in the parking lot of club time. They were doing the typical security because there's a lot of big crowd and disbursement helping getting everybody out. Both men are expected to make a full recovery after surgery. Deputies say some started shooting in a parking lot near Time Nightclub after it closed. Well, I woke up in the middle of the night and there was lights all over the lake. You could see the police there and there were blue lights everywhere. They were parked right out front here, right in front of our house. Candace Starcher has been a resident in Ocala for nearly seven years and says the club has always been a disturbance. This nightclub needs to be closed. It's a haven for drugs. It's a haven for fighting. And now what are they going to do? Wait until somebody gets killed before they close it? It's a nuisance bar. It needs to be shut down. Marion County Sheriff Billy Wood says there was about 100 people in the parking lot when it happened. It's sad that people are, are covering for people that they should fear. The Florida Sheriff's Association is offering a reward of up to $5,000 for a tip that leads to an arrest. The shooter's identity is still unknown and the investigation is ongoing. In Ocala, Misty Webb, TV 20 News.